Well, uh, this um, tape is about uh, addressing the uh, three levels of um, social work. One is micro, the other is meso, and the other one is macro. And the vulnerability uh, of the people that we uh, serve. All people are at least vulnerable to to be considered vulnerable in the uh, stages of social uh, welfare and social injustice. In the uh, social welfare uh, realm, we are to all consider everybody to be us if we are to give direct care and the, and the proper service. Uh, we are mandated to uh, recognize people that are in, the, in distress and situations and redirect as a uh, mandated by uh, our profession. You are not to be put yourself in danger or anything, but I'm pretty sure that if um, you recognize a distress situation to where we can help uh, in any way, we, we should be able to point somebody in the right direction. Recognize the communities that you are in nationwide, uh, wherever you are, uh, because uh, if diversity is our is a nature of our profession, then we should know where we are. Uh, to do that, uh, just personally and morally, I put together a diversified uh, calendar. What I what I do is I find out what cultures that. I do not know and what I may be subjugated to in my travels, such as uh, if uh, I know that I'm going to be around a uh, Islamic or a Muslim uh, person uh, of Islamic uh, faith, then I try to find out uh, what circumstances, what time of year, what what, what I might uh, run into. Uh, if they need my services, uh, what uh, their mental state might be in, um, uh, Catholic, uh, Jew, Protestant, or whatever, uh, those things are important as you even approach somebody as need or, even, or if they approach you. Um, to get back to the main uh, things, which is micro, um, which is the first step of, of care, which is on the uh, level where you're uh, doing clinical uh, analysis of a person. When a person walks in, most likely there's these are community-based uh, centers for low-income uh, people that would that would uh, probably come in off the street uh, in peril, uh, tired of probably something or probably in flight from something like an abuse abusive situation. What you do is you sit down, you probably would do a clinical uh, intake of this person and then you would find them the immediate help uh, on, on, a, on a scale of like a shelter, um, first step, uh, mental health, uh, hospital, uh, care, drug and alcohol services. Uh, then from there, maybe they would go to someone if they needed to the help, that would probably be on a level of a uh, mezzo. Okay. With, which would be in between micro and even further care, which would, uh, be in between probably, a variety of, uh, of services. They would be uh, mid-range. They would they would uh, understand like better policy changes and and anything that would that would come up uh, in the immediate like uh, mid-range that would uh, affect them culturally. Uh, any policy changes, uh, any anything that would stand in their way on a larger scale. And they would uh, be able to probably uh, address family issues that that would that would come on. Whereas maybe on a smaller scale, wherever a 
micro person was located, depending on what type of facility it was, would not be able to uh, address them. Then they would then uh, the measure person probably would be in a better facility or better position to help them if you understand uh, the uh, level of what you what you're doing they would have they would be more educated or more um, equipped to handle the situation now even on that level a connection of where we would go from that point to help this person would be if you were to get information and you would keep in track with intact with everybody that that's involved, which is our responsibility also with, with, with our communities to be able to bring things back meetings, uh, on policies, or uh, get information, uh, phone calls, networking, whatever it is, all the way up to uh, macro, which is your supervision and and your and the people that hand down policy changes from the government level and are, are abdicating your situations because they they feed off of the information that you give them that that the changes that that are in your community directly that you would give them okay and pass them on you would give them to to maybe to through the person that you met that that you would change his family like if if i say mary needed more help then i could give them and i and i and i pass it on to another organization which would have a mezzo uh mezzo uh, uh person uh to ha to handle their situation as far as like a family uh, 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 crisis or, or family help or, or whatever um, type of help that they would need if I pass that on okay then I then they would pass it on to the person that would that would handle the uh, government policy or be more involved in lobbying which is the macro uh, level uh, of care then they would then in turn the feedback would come all the way back we, we owe that to each other as to complete the, the, the chain that will that will bring back social justice to everybody that's involved, social involvement to everybody that's involved that would that will create the social welfare chain that will go from top to bottom, from bottom to top, that would always complete this. Now it, it this is very necessary because if you think about how far we have come with this system, the social welfare system that that we have we now represent back in the 1600s uh, uh, where the poor laws first started there was only one person that was delegated to figure out who needed what even though his diversity was only to his community ours is our diversity has has changed so much that it is important for us to communicate, network, and 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 really ethically respect the fact that things change and people are different, ways are different, cultures are different, and we have to mend this uh, chain at all times to communicate and keep everything in, in fact so that we are what we say we are, welfare. The welfare and social welfare of everybody that's involved, including ourselves, because we cannot be a help or service to anybody else if we are not as a group well ourselves. We're supposed to be welfare. And we cannot be welfare ourselves if we're not welfare for them or welfare ourselves. If you understand what I'm saying, thank you and have a blessed day.